All right, everybody, welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Online. Do me a favor and subscribe and smash that like button to help the channel and the series grow. Now, thank you for your support so far. It re really means a lot, as always. You can keep showing that love, and I'll keep cranking these out. Now, with that being said, let's do this. The preparation. Oops, no, 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 not you. I was trying to talk to you. There we go. Please don't mind Prince Naaman. Ambassador Turinwe's betrayal is a shock to us all. But no matter, the orrery must work lawlessly for the Queen. That's what we will ensure. Enough to be of service. The orrery hasn't functioned as intended for ages. We planned to use some rather delicate magic to trick it into operation. But if Prince Naaman believes there was sabotage, we must look to an alternative method. Why, we'll look to the past! According to legend, the orrery required a skilled operator, an alien source of power, and a divine spark before it would function. Mm. Without all three, it won't do anything but spin. Quite pretty, but not very useful. Mm. Right. I've researched this a bit. Really, you need to be in three places at once. Simple, right? But the fallen SD winter site is rumored to hold a relic of the Khajiiti thief god. For our purposes, Rajin's mantle will serve him. The heart of the numeral originally brought life to the orrery, according to the text. It long ago went missing. But a member of the local mages guild named Laranalda theorizes it's in a local alien room. She's wonderful. Have anything you find sent directly to the orrery. Once everything is in place, we can begin the ratification ceremony. And do refrain from referring to Conservator Darineth as a missing element. Let's see what these stones reveal. Who are you? What brings you into my home? A simple thief of hearts, come to steal yours from this walking city. Steal my heart, or steal your loins, for your arrow <laughs> looks a quiver. Such a lowly mouth can die anywhere, a trait we both share. What service to our palate should we conjoin in feast? I am a married woman, so you must starve, unless you care to feast upon yourself. Gifted to your husband. His inattention must make him harder to love. What would you know of love, monster? You have none of it, and you will have none of me. <laughs> your protests ring hollow, Lady Nerume. We shall see how much when I steal you away from husband and home. Searching, but I don't see it, so we're gonna have to probably proceed downward. Let me see. My face in here. Okay. Let's head on back down. Actually, I haven't searched this side over here. I came from this side because I remember coming up and seeing her. So let's search this way here. Oh my god, the phone!
Oh my god. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Alright. You travel with Braylor. He has proven himself a friend to the Falanesti faithful. As was General Andare. When our digging revealed existing tunnels, she pulled us back to our camp before taking her soldiers to the dig site below. Then the frost trolls emerged from the caves. They slaughtered most soldiers left behind. It seems you diverted a frost troll from one of her soldiers. Upon reaching safety, the knowledge you seek was passed to me. She was last seen in the northernmost cave at the dig site. She pressed us into service in the search for Rachin's mantle. Initially, her treatment was harsh. But I spoke with her directly and proposed she take a lighter approach. Yes, she saw the wisdom in my words. A reasonable request earned a reasonable response. A true shame the rest of Tamriel doesn't work like that. Bet the dead of Tanzelwell had a lot to say about Irene. Alright, so... In a dig site. So we're gonna do this one. First of all, let me discover the way shrine back here. Okay, we got that out the way. This whole place is actually the site. I don't know why it had it secluded to that small circle. Secondly, I think this side quest is gonna take us straight to the mantle because he just said that someone else was looking for it as well. It's right up there. And we were gonna do that first too. Oh my god. I was gonna do that first. And it was like, no, search the sign, search the sign. Exit the cave. None's here. Turn them to a pile of ice. Search this cave. I bet you it's a stupid troll down here. I, what, what'd I say? All right, for a ball. I gotta get past this stupid idiot first. Back it up! Shoot, my man. I gotta work on increasing that now. But this is where it can't comes in handy the most. Ah! The target is immune. The heck, you immune to being stunned? Yeah, that infamous slump, sir. You are down. Narrow me. <laughs> Are you another soldier? Come to loose trolls upon the Valenwood. How can so many know my name after all these years? Yes, I am Narame. I hope to stem the tide of frost trolls by sealing their egress. But ice is the only form I may take beyond the walls of my prison. Tell me why you are here. You are not the first. General Endare broke through to my prison in search of the same. I will aid you in seeking Regine's mantle, but only if you swear to free me. Okay, now she needs help. Regine's mantle is the key to my prison beneath the fallen esty winter site. If I but touch its hem, it will steal all my hatred for Regine's shadow and fill the void with love. I'll make loot strings of his innards first. <laughs> only another may safely free me. A cruel and spiteful jest. 
to show me I was powerless in his clutches. Worse, to kindle hope my husband would come to free me, then smother that hope with his continued absence. But Rajin's shadow knows nothing of love. I did not waver, not once. There is another cave, sealed by a frost-covered door. It leads to my prison. If you swear to free me, I will allow you inside to speak of Regine's men. 